Hey, it's Holly. In today's video, we are going to be touring a special compact by request. Uh, this one is for you, Lizzie. It is the 1990 pencil case. I am so excited to show you this. I have been really bad about <laughs> just forgetting about sets that I have complete to show you. So this is one by request. I did have it complete. It was just sitting in the cupboard. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, by request from Lizzie, today's video is the 1990 pencil case. Um, this pencil case comes in two variations. Today I am showing you the mint green one. I am so excited to have this and I've actually had this for a while. Um, however, I uh, sometimes forget what I have, which is probably a sign I have a problem. Um, but here it is and um, I have it sort of complete. It's well loved, I will say that, but um, I do have all the pieces, so I'm excited to show this to you today. So uh, just to give you scale, my hand is about six inches from top to bottom, so I would say that this is probably about nine inches long. It's quite large, and it really is the size of a proper pencil case. So let's open it up and check it out. It's very similar on the outside to the High Street money box or trinket box. Um, it's just quite a bit thinner. So here's what it looks like on the inside. So it's effectively a home and you can see that there is a front door. The main level comprises of a kitchen, a living room, a bedroom, and then upstairs there is a second apartment. So there is another kitchen, eating area, and then a bedroom. If you follow my channel closely, you'll probably feel my distress right now that there's no bathroom in this home. So um, I don't love that. But anyway, that's my own problem to deal with. This is really a lovely set though. Um, so because it's broken into two apartments, one is pink and one is blue effectively, they have matching colored doors and I like the fact that they've done that. Um, you can see the bedroom is well laid out, beautiful wallpaper. So they've really made good use of stickers to bring some pops of color into this because the paint colors are quite limited here. So I can see that they had yellow paint, white paint, pink paint and blue paint and that's basically it. So they're just working with a four color palette and they pulled it off just by using those stickers. So um, both bedrooms are decorated well. The, both apartments are just decorated in the, their respective colors. But I do love that wallpaper. Um, over here there is some art and some flowers in the living room with a television, a lamp, a couch. There is um, a piece of furniture, like a little, I don't know, I want to say dresser, but I guess it's supposed to be, what would you call that? A sideboard with a tiny picture frame on it. The kitchen in this one is quite lovely and large, so lots of cabinet space, and you can see that they've got a tiny little oven, and I love how they've used the colors for the knobs there to make it really pop. Um, Again, great use of stickers for the colors. And then upstairs, a uh, kind of similar vibe. So they've also put a piece of art, much like this one with flowers next to it, but this time in the bedroom. More art in the eating area with the hutch on the side. And then the kitchen is a bit um, more broken up with color. So you can see that they have a range that has a range hood on it, as this one does not. Um, and a little, I think that's supposed to be a tiny fridge. <laughs> By North American standards, that would not work. And a tiny little garbage can. I do love that there's a trash can there, so that's super cute. So um, you can see that there are on the sides here some 
uh, little places to put figures and then steps up to the apartments. So the idea is that they would have <laughs> the people in this apartment over here and over here. Um, I don't know why everyone is so segregated here, but uh, that's kind of how it is set up. So first let's talk about the figures. This comes with four figures. So of course we are going to start with Polly. So Polly is wearing a very light sort of lilac colored dress. She has a green bow tie on her neck, a red hairband and matching green shoes to her bow tie. Um, she's got that beautiful curly hair that we know and love from those original early uh, 90s and late 80s Polly compacts. So that is the Polly figure. Next up is Midge. Midge, oh, this Midge is in such good condition. I'm so happy with this one. Um, she's wearing beautiful bright red overalls, a yellow shirt, and she has her hair in a bob. It's a bit more, and I don't know, maybe it's just the color scheme that's throwing me. It's a bit blonder than I'm used to for Midge. Um, if anyone watches Drag Race, I feel like she looks like Tina Burner, but... <laughs> Uh, that's what she looks like and she's got white shoes on next up is wee willie is his name um, and he is also in great condition he's got a red shirt blue pants bright green shoes blonde hair and um, really punchy colors in this set the last piece is a cat so uh, this is a black cat with a white tuft of fur on its chest. It has piercing blue eyes. And I'm just trying to see if there is actually a nose on it. No, there's no nose painted, but it has tiny little white paws. So super, super cute. So the cat fits over here. I'm not sure if they were meant to be in certain places. Um, I'm going to assume that Polly gets the cat. Maybe I'm wrong with that, um, but these will all fit in these little spots here for the figures. Bear with me while I get those in there. Gosh, you know, it's hard for me as an adult <laughs> and I don't even have big hands. Okay, there we go. No, I lied, there we go. Okay, is she in? No, she's not in, oh my gosh. struggle is real friends the struggle is real imagine being a kid with this how frustrating that might be okay so we've got them in their places let's talk about what makes this a pencil case so it comes with a few accessories um, first it comes with of course a pencil um, my pencils very sharpened down it's tiny um, not much of a pencil left and I'm not confident that it came with more than one but maybe it came with two I don't know um, and then it has this little pencil topper. Uh, they had these as pencil toppers. They also had some of these that were kind of, again, these are kind of shaped like a cloche um, as necklaces as well. So I had a necklace like this as a kid, um, which I don't have right now. So maybe I didn't recollect my entire collection, <laughs> thinking of it, but um, yeah, so this is effectively the exact same design though. So, whoops, the lead's just straight up falling out of this pencil. Um, so the idea with the pencil topper is you open up the top, Polly goes in, and then you could have her on the end of your pencil at school, which is super cute. Um, I never had the pencil topper I, I don't believe, but I did have this same um, style poly holder as a necklace. Um, I think most of them are just very simply named Polly in her necklace, um, but that is the pencil. It also came with a pencil sharpener. Um, very, very cute. It's a translucent light purple plastic, uh, solid plastic. Um, purple base and then the top just comes open and you can empty out the sharpener but otherwise it holds all of your sharpenings which is nice whoops <laughs> I'm not coordinated today bear with me there we go okay 
And then the last piece is an eraser. So um, it's just a pink gummy eraser. It has a sticker in the middle. Um, nothing exciting about that, but I will say at least it's still heart shaped. It doesn't look like it's overly been used or anything. Um, and that is the pencil case. So a really fun set. I can imagine <laughs> this going to school and then having pieces lost or people lifting pieces out of your desk when you're not there. Um, so that would be challenging, but this is a very, very cute set. And if you did just keep it at home to write letters or thank you notes, that would be um, a really fun way to do that. So I love this. I think it's so cute. I'm curious if this will shut. Oh, it does shut with people in it because of the way the doors are lined up. So that's really clever. Um, I like that. Um, so let me know in the comments, what's your favorite thing about this? I am just gonna go out and say, I like the fact that you can have these in there, locked in their respective places and shut the compact. I think that that's great. But uh, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments as always. I would like to get my hands on a pencil that is not so worn down, but nonetheless, the set is otherwise complete and I'm very happy with it. So that is the 1990 pencil case. All right, what's your favorite part of this set? I really do love that they've just got the little spots in there to keep the figures. I think that that's so great. Um, I also love the pencil topper, if I'm being honest. I think that they're super cute, but the just having <laughs> storage for things where it will stay in place, I really appreciate that. I'm a little bit obsessive about that kind of thing, but let me know in the comments, what did you like about this set? Um, Thank you again for reminding me about what I have in my collection. <laughs> and I, I mean that. Um, sometimes I skip over things because I feel like maybe they're not as interesting or there's something more interesting. And I even myself will forget that other people have nostalgia for different sets. So um, thank you because it's something that was worth sharing. And I'm glad that we had the opportunity to do that today. So thank you, Lizzie. I appreciate that. Um, for those of you that have not hit the subscribe button yet, please hit the subscribe button. I come out with videos every Monday and Thursday. I've been doing this for over a year now. I have not missed a single day. So please hit the subscribe button, follow along. I will keep you up to date with all sorts of vintage Polly Pocket content. And if you happen to be on social media, you can follow along on social media as well. Just look up Pocket Vintage Toys. You'll find me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, you name it. You'll find me there. So... I think that's all for this week. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.